How's everybody doing? Got my co-pilot down here. Not me. So, um, <clears throat> today's Wednesday, right? It's June second. Tomorrow's June third. Doctor Jill Biden's birthday. Happy birthday, Jill Biden! Yay! And um, so, um, like, who really cares? <laughs> I bet you uh, Joe Biden doesn't even remember. He doesn't know what today is at all. He doesn't. He thinks uh, the inauguration was 15 months ago. Probably does. It probably feels it's like to all of us. Feels like an eternity, right? I mean, do we miss Trump yet? Do you miss Trump yet? I bet you everybody does, right? The media sure does. They want something else to talk about besides what kind of ice cream did you get? Did you get the waffle cone? Oh, we love the waffle cone. Oh, you're the best. Oh, you got sprinkles? Oh, you're the best. What? <laughs> What's going on here? Right? And then so, like, look, man. Um, I think that um, the jig is up, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this bullshit's over. Like, I think it's time to burn the mask. Ban the mask. I think it's time that, we, like, like, Fauci wrote a book, right? Like, at the same time that uh, Andrew Cuomo was like... Uh, Look at my leadership during uh, the pandemic, right? Like, don't you, like, isn't that, like, what they do, like, the victory lap? Isn't that what they do, like, when it's over, right? So, like, why, they, why, why July? Why, why July 4th? Why, why not now? Like, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't get the, get the metrics of the time, like, you know what I mean? Unless it's just for control, because, I mean, how do they, if they don't even know where it came from, how do they know how long it's going to be around? You know what I mean? Like, the cicadas, like, we know how long they've been underground, and then they came up. We know, we know their mating skin. We know all of that because we know where they from. Like, you know what I mean? Isn't that scientific to like be curious? Isn't it kind of weird that like Fauci and the other guy from the NIH don't really want us to know or don't really care? And then like when you start talking to them about it, they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Shouldn't we be talking about getting dumb vaccines in the people's arms? Shouldn't we be talking about that? We shouldn't really be talking about where this came from, who was doing it, or anything anywhere. We shouldn't. You don't even look over there. That hey, that area, hey, we just came from over there. No need to look over there. Let's look that way. Isn't that like a red flag? Like you know what I mean? It's not like when people. Are, it's not like when you're like like stuck somewhere on a mountain and people are like, hey, don't look down, don't look down, and then you know people look down anyway, right? Because that's curiosity killed the cat, right? And oh my God, oh shit, we're, we're stuck. So, I think that they got a lot of crow on their face. I think that <clears throat> they've been hoping that, like, all these media appearances, all these podcast stuff has made people feel like, oh, yeah, they're a rock star, yeah. And then, like, you know what I mean? We'll just believe the bullshit. I mean, I think that that's what is going on. I think that, like, no one's going to read that book, right? Because, I mean, what's, what, it, what, what has Fauci got in that book that he hasn't already said on the gajillion, bajillion interviews he's been on? Like, why read the book? You can just watch the clips of the interviews, right? Seems kind of retarded. Yeah. Capitalism. It's America, baby. But, like, look, it's like, it's like this, right? You find, like, we got laws, right? Especially in California. Or, like, my laws, which is kind of stuff. That's where I grew up and stuff. But, like, Say they got laws now, right? Because people were dying in ditches, because people were like were getting scared, like people would OD or whatever, and like, oh shit, we don't know what to do, like right. And then that movie Traffic came out, and people were like, oh yeah, this is real crap. We need to do something about it. And then lots of stuff happened where now, like you, like now you can just drive someone to the hospital and, and like no questions asked, or, or you, if someone's ODing at your house, you can call. You know what I mean? And like if there's still drugs there or whatever, they're not tripping because they just want to, you know, what I mean, save that person's life and stuff like that, right? But people still, because they're doing something wrong or they feel like that, be the, oh, you know what I mean? It's still like, no, 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 because they don't, you know what I mean? They don't want to be exposed as doing something wrong or slightly doing something ethic morally or ethically or socially unacceptably, right? You know what I'm saying? So they don't want to be canceled in any kind of shape or way or form. So they're just trying to be like, hey, no, 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 no just like me, you know what I mean? And we've all known people like that. The Kardashians. Or like that. 
It's probably why people are starting to like Fauci, because why has the Kardashians been on that long if people don't like it? Right? So, there's got to be something to that. But, um, I just want to know, how many people are not working because of the uh, extended unemployment benefits? I mean, if that's true, comment down below. Let me know. And, or if it's because of like the year and a half of the fear that they've been, uh, the media has been propagating, right? And Dr. Fauci and the NIH, right? Not caring where it's been, anything else in the time that they've spent not caring. China's already gotten rid of all the evidence, burned down the building, probably built a new replicate building that looks just like the old building and we have no idea, right? So even if we did try to go in there with a blue bat, blue light, black light, whatever, trying to find all the evidence like they do in CSI, it doesn't matter because it's a brand new building, but it just looks like the old building because that's what China does best. It replicates, right? That's what it does best. You, go, you know what I mean, right? So I wouldn't pass, put it past China. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, if you can't even guarantee that, if you can't even guarantee that the payee, like Fauci says, that the guarantee that the grantee didn't spend the money right, but then how can you guarantee that they didn't burn the building out and put a new one up and we all just acting like it's the old one? How do you know? We don't know. And we'll never know because we spaced, we wasted way too much time telling everybody to wear a mask, wash their hands, stay six feet apart, you know what I mean? And, and all that kind of stuff, right? Valuable time, right? Where now, like, you know what I mean? Like, think about it. Like, people were all the time getting rid of evidence and all that kind of stuff, right? Valuable time. A year and a half? We ain't never going to find no evidence from China. They ain't going to tell us none. You know what I mean? Like, that's like trying to find out if it's Hunter Biden's laptop. We still don't know. We still ain't admitting it. You know what I mean? But at least he probably keeps his story straight longer than Fauci. He ain't flip up more than Fauci. You know what I mean? So, but if that's all the case, right? So if if if, if people are not going to work because of unemployment benefits and not because you, you've been told that if you go outside and breathe the air, you're going to get COVID and die or kill grandma or kill your pet or kill, you know? Or is it because there's restrictions because you might live in a blue state and not a red state like Florida or free, the free states of Florida or Texas? Is it because of that? I mean, there could be lots of things, right? You don't have child care. You just relate to people who don't want to work. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know which one it is. I mean, no one's judging here. Non judgmental zone. We just want to know. Scientifically, we need everybody to be honest, not like Fauciism. We need to be honest and just turn them down. You know what I mean? Just be cool with it. But, like, because, uh, you know, recently I was in I was in California, right? Like a week ago, week and two weeks ago, right? Took my mom. She's like 72, 73, right? She just got, she just got half vaxxed. She's half vaxxed. Right? She just got her little Pfizer shot. She got half vaxxed, right? But we went down there so she could see some of her family who she hadn't seen in a long time, right? And it was kind of a good time, right? But they live in Northern California. I'm from Southern California, but it was in Northern California. And uh, so it's like a little kind of small town, right? And so we go there, and it's like, it was like, no, it's like nobody even knows about the pandemic. I mean, kind of, because you still see like the younger kids. The, you know, the, the millennials, Gen Zers, they're wearing the mask when you're going to school and everything else. You see that kind of stuff like that. But other than that, like, we went out to eat, like, to multiple places. No one was wearing masks. No one was even tripping about wearing the mask. Like, like that's, that's Gavin Newsom's territory, and he's lost all credibility and all control. Like, I was even talking to some people, and they're like, yeah, they don't even try to even enforce it anymore because people are just going in there and not caring and just throwing a big old fit and so they'd rather just not deal with all that and just do so you know what I mean so it's like what's the whole point right maybe is that is that why California numbers are so bad or is it because people are really I mean what's really going on we don't know because everybody's staying inside that's why we need everybody to just really be like dude look it's been it's warm outside right the sun is going to kill sun is the best disinfected everybody keeps telling me that Right? So go outside, get some fresh air, burn the mask, right? And go to work so we can start getting this economy back going, back to in the right direction, so that in 22 and 24, we can actually start getting real progress and stuff and getting these other people that are, that have been messing around and monkeying around this whole system, we can get them out of here, right? Because 
that like Kamala Harris has no intention of going to the border. She wished that they no, we, we would all forget that she's even part of the borders are stuff. And she, right? And she's going to go to Guatemala and she's going to go to uh, Mexico. So she's going to fly in her plane, right? And go to Guatemala and go to Mexico and put a, a, a bigger footprint into the into into the ozone layer. That's big old ozone. When I was growing up, big old ozone, ozone layer. It's going to kill us all. Oh my God, right? Right, the climate change, but she's gonna go in her private chat, right, and just guzzle up all the air and go there when she could be doing that via Zoom, like everybody else has been doing, like like the schools have been doing, like we, they've been having the public school kids doing the Zoom and and schooling for over a year and a half, right? She could do, she could talk with the the the, the leader, the free leader. They don't have to go anywhere anymore. Those those are the people that can actually be working remotely from home and never have to do anything in their basements, and nobody would ever even notice. But it's people like us, the, the poorer people, that actually have to go out and actually run and fix and, and work and make the society what it is and goes and works, right? So I don't understand that. But yet, and no one's bitching about that, about the climate change, about her going in planes and, and Mallorca is going to Costa Rica, which isn't even part of the problem in the border, right? No one's bitching about that when they could be doing a Zoom, right? No. But the border is real short. The border is... She passes the border on the way there. She's going to do like I mean, George W. Bush with Katrina and just look over and wave down. and Oh, look at the people down there looking like ants. Is that what she's going to do? Because that's uncompatible. I mean, have you guys seen the kids at the border clutching their teddy bears crying out for help? Like that's like this is humane. This is this is what it is. Like this is the this is what the parent this is the left wants to be the parents in the room all the time. Right. Well, like I don't know about you, but I had parents that acted like that, too. And they weren't always the good parent. They were bad, shitty, crackhead parents. And, but they always wanted to put their foot down. And, this is what it is. And this is that. And talk like murder. The border's closed. Go to your room. Right? But it's like you're overcompensating for something because you're not that really that authority. You're not a really good parent. So you're just trying to be like the, like a sitcom parent. Like the O'Connor. Like the Connor. Yeah? Like just, because I said it, therefore do it. Like Cosby. Right? Is that what this is like? Instead of actually trying to really parent because parenting is really hard. Right? Is that what this is like? Because it's because now it seems like we're in a really nasty divorce, and they don't want to do, and they're trying to undo everything that that daddy did because mommy's because mommy over here is mad at daddy and wants to be the good, wants to be the better parent, the likable parent, and we're just in a tug of war, and we're the people in the middle just getting torn at the threat, right? And we're just trying to pick sides. Who you want in the divorce? You want the left or the right? You want mommy or you want daddy? Which one you want? I want neither. How about neither? How about we just all just be orphans? How about that? Oh, no, wait. Have you seen the way that they do orphans at the border? No, we're good. How about we just all just be collectively our own community and just say, screw the mommy and daddy and just emancipate ourselves? How about that? We can do that. And just create our own little party, the American party. Huh? It's possible. But probably not going to happen. Just like a lot of this stuff that people talk about and think about. Right? It's never, it's pipe dreams. Right? Because... Until we actually get up and do stuff. Off that couch. Stop watching Netflix. Stop ordering Uber Eats all the time. I mean, I'm guilty of all this kind of stuff, right? But spot it if you got it, right? But I think that we, we all need to, like, you see these people on the airplanes. You see these people attacking everybody on the streets, right? We have all been cabin fever, locked up in, and pent up inside, not really working out. That's why the gyms would have been very important keeping open so that people could have got that steam, right? I mean, I mean, that's one thing you might not be seeing me on here. I've been stressed out ever since I got back from California real quick. My, my, my the, the refrigerator crapped out, the compressor, something wanted some $300 to fix it. It's like, oh my God, I've been living out of a cooler over there. You see that? For like a week. You know what I mean? That's my fridge. I can't go back. I sold it. I mean, I, you know what I mean? So it's like, I mean, I'm trying to still get up early, work out, meditate, you know, do my little stuff. I still got to take care of my dog. Still got to take care of that. Life moves on. Life still turns, right? The world still turns, but regardless. Right, and that's where it's at, right? And so it's not always about us. And right now, we got to think about like what JFK said, right? Think not about what, what you what, what, what the country could do for you, but what you could do for the country. And right now, what, that's what it is, right? The country is in crisis, and we all need to start being together collectively. If you guys want to use that word collectively, right? Work together to mend it together, right? Because we're all in this together, whether it sings or it floats, we're all in it together. That's one thing that is true, okay? So be kinder and be better doesn't matter what it is just be better right i mean i'm trying every day but don't try just do it like maggie said right all right love you guys bye
Toodles. <laughs>